G'day everybody, Sparhawk Games here, and today we're doing something a little bit different for the YouTube channel. So by request of my community, um, there was a few people who were interested in how I turned my old NVIDIA 1060 mobile card that's sitting in this Alienware laptop, the laptop's a bit over four years old, into an Ethereum mining rig. Uh, the whole process itself will take about 10 minutes. It's quick and easy to do. You don't have to do any modifications to your computer. Uh, I will let you know though, right from the outset, while, um, while my affectionately named miner here, the, the little miner that could, is working away in the background, that this is a straight hobbyist bit of advice. This is not financial advice. This is not me telling you what you need to do with your technology. Please do your research on anything that I say here and make your own decisions about what you do with your hardware, with your money, with crypto, with anything at all. This is just me passing on how I did things for my journey. There's three steps that we need to follow to get up and running and I'll also give you some troubleshooting and some things I learned the hard way so that you can avoid some potential pitfalls if you do decide to you know, have a go at some of the stuff I'm doing here. Um, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you need to do, step one, is you need to set up a wallet for your cryptocurrency. The reason you need this is that once you get your miner up and operational and it starts mining the cryptocurrency, uh, in my case and for this video, the one that I wanted to mine and, and continuing to mine is Ethereum. Uh, so I needed a wallet that would allow me to deposit the Ethereum that I mined into there for safekeeping and security. So the, the research I did led me to Exodus, um, which is where I started with my wallet. The reason for that was that it has the two coins that I was interested in experimenting with mining in it, and it also had really good reviews, and there are other miners that I knew, hobbyist miners that I knew that were using it. So Ethereum and Ravencoin are the two coins that I've dabbled in, and Exodus allows you to have both of those in, and it has really quite stringent security protocols in place, and so from the research I did, I was comfortable and confident with using it to store my coins. Uh, the other one that I have recently started using, uh, because Exodus is a wallet, so it allows you to store your coins. If you are interested in looking at trading of coins of any kind and, and selling them or turning them into fiat currencies, so you know your real world money, uh, the one I've just gotten and I'm looking at, I haven't used yet. I've been looking at other people using it, um, and there's, there's many miners I know that use it, is Crypto.com. So what I'd like you to do now is pause the video, go and create an account or sign up for the um, wallet of your choice. If you already have a wallet, then please keep on watching. And you need to come back to the video when you have a wallet set up. All right, so now hopefully you're back and you've got yourself a wallet set up. So the next step that we need to take is getting you the miner that you need to turn that old NVIDIA video card and laptop into a mining rig. So the one I use is T-Rex. Uh, T-Rex is only um, compatible with NVIDIA cards. So for those of you that got AMD cards, I'm sorry, I have no experience in doing any mining with them. So you download that file. And at this point, we need to take a pause um, to, to do some security settings uh, in your, whatever your antivirus program is, because there's some potential issues you might face that will cost you a bit of time to troubleshoot that I'm going to show you how to avoid right from the get-go. So please put that on to download, um, pause the video till it's finished, and then let's get into some other settings that we can to play around with to make your experience as smooth as possible. Okay, so now you should have that zip file downloaded. Leave it somewhere safe. Don't mess with it at the moment. Um, one possible issue you might face when you're setting up your miner for the first time is your antivirus or malware protection, or both of them, if you're running both, regardless of what type, may pick up the miner as a threat. Now, I'm going to show you what I did. As with anything else in this video, do your research, make your own decisions on what is best for you and what you're prepared to do on your system. But I am just using the basic Microsoft Windows security, because I know it's built into Windows 10. Um, you could be using any of a number of different versions yourself. This is just what I'm going to use for the video. So what you need to do is create an exception for the, um, the minor software. 
So what I would like you to do is on your computer, wherever you would like to be storing your um, mining software, can I get you please to make a folder and we are then going to add that as an exception in your antivirus. So for me, I've just got on my D drive in program files, I've made a folder manually called crypto mining. I've got the zip file in there uh, and I've also extracted it. Now, please don't extract anything yet. Don't even put the zip file in this folder just yet. What we need to do is we need to take that folder and we need to go and add it. So I'm in the manage settings here and I'm into exclusions and exceptions. So your antivirus software will have a section where you can exclude items from virus scans and virus monitoring. Again, do this at your own risk. Um, so what I want you to do is add an exclusion and then go and select the folder that you are going to be keeping your crypto in. That's if you would like to do this the way I did. Um, I found out this the hard way the first time I ran my mining software. My antivirus jumped up and cut it off at the knees. Again, I am showing you with the Microsoft free version. You will need to look at your own for the, the different myriad of options that are out there. So you don't have to do this. I'm just suggesting it to you as a potential to avoid problems and headaches. So with that exclusion in place, if you've decided to follow that advice, you now need to extract this zip file and you'll see into the folder that you uh, are going to be using for your mining software. There's no installation necessary. It's just a straight unzip. And then when you get into here, you'll see there's a whole bunch of batch files and then the miner at the bottom or however your folders are set up. Now, don't run the miner just yet because we're not set up just yet ready to mine. We are about now to head into the final steps before you go live and your, your mining software kicks off. So here we are, ready for step three to get things set up and to run your mining software. So what I need you to do is open up your wallet. I'm not going to be putting my wallet onto the screen. But if you open up the wallet of your choice, you need to add the Ethereum currency. In my case, that's what I'm going to be demoing mining. You need to add that currency into your wallet. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, there are tons of videos on YouTube on specific wallets and how to add currencies to them. And you need to get your specific wallet code for that Ethereum currency. So can you please pause the video, go and get your Ethereum currency code from your wallet and then we will do the final step. So you should now have that uh, wallet code available to you. Most of the wallets, Exodus for instance, allows you just to hit copy on that code so that you can put it into a miner. So what I need you to do is right click on, for me, I'm using the mining pool called Two Miners. Uh, again, from the research I did, they were the ones I was most comfortable doing this with. I'm in Australia, they had really good speeds and rates in this region. Um, they had a reasonable percentage that they took as part of joining the mining pool. And from the research I did, especially using old hardware, trying to mine yourself without being part of a pool is a lot more complicated and a lot lower chance of success. By joining a pool, your hardware joins in with a bunch of others all over the world or in your region, and you work together and each get a share of the, the Ethereum coins that you mine. So you'll see in here that there's like the, all of the other Ethereum mining pools um, that T-Rex Miner has pre-made batch files for in there. You'll see that Ravencoin is in here. I do and have mined some Ravencoin, um, but I my focus is Ethereum now that I'm up and running because that's the coin that I'm most interested in at the moment. So if I right click on this and edit, it'll bring up your batch file. And what you'll see here is the instructions that are there for the miner to run. You don't need to mess with any of those. What you do need to do though is change the your wallet code goes here to your wallet code. Don't mess with any of the spaces. Leave the format of the batch file the way it is. And then you need to, where it says name of your miner here, you need to give your miner a name. So for me, my miner, my 1060 miner is the little miner that could. So once you have that in, save and close that batch file. So just to show you all, this is an action shot of the little miner that could in action. So here we go. We open up the Ethereum 2 miners. So there it is. The little miner that could joining into the pool. 
Happy days. We're up and running. Now we just let it go. One more quick thing as a bit of an epilogue is to make sure that you check and monitor how your miner is going. So two miners have a, a website set up for each of the coins. So here it's eth.twominers.com. If you get your wallet address and paste that in, it will actually give you um, 30 minute refreshes of how your mining software is going, how your mining, sorry, your mining hardware is going and what they're up to. All right, so here we are folks. We're back with the little miner that could. It's chunking away mining Ethereum. If you liked what you saw, please hit like, please sub to the channel. There'll be further updates on this mining journey as I do more of it. Again, hobbyist, take everything with a grain of salt, do your own research, make sure you do the things that you're comfortable with. This is just how I chose to do it based on the research that I did with my old piece of hardware here. And if all else fails, remember, keep a copy of that zip file and just re-extract everything. If you reckon you've completely botched it, delete the old, replace it with the new and start afresh again. I can tell you it took me three separate goes and some research to get up and running. So please don't be discouraged if you are keen on having a try. This is a hobby. But remember, hobbyist, not professional, not financial advice. Have yourselves a great day. Hope to catch you next time. And feel free to swing by the channel, Sparhawk Games on Twitch, anytime you like. See ya. Bye.